a gracious good day to one and all once again. Tis I, Norton the First, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States, and Protector of Mexico. Back with you once again with our extra special guest superstar, the Countess Lola Montez of Lansfeld. Good day, Countess. Good day, Your Majesty. Good to be back with you on another Saturday. This is episode 109 of Emperor Norton's Fantastic History Vlog. Today is August 1st, 2020. It is our 137th day under COVID-19 restrictions. Locked down together. Indeed. So how are you today, Countess? I am doing splendid. Thank you. What do you have for us today? Well, thank you for having me and thank you all for tuning in. And I might suggest, you know, to like us down below. I mean, not below here, but below the screen. And also, uh, add your comments, you know, if you want to hear anything or have anything to say, such as, you know, what you would like to hear about in the history. And uh, today, I thought we would talk about movies. Ooh. You know, as we shelter in place, it's wonderful to pass our time reading and all that. But an occasional movie is a great way to pass the time. And I know I have my favorite movies here in San Francisco that all took place. What about you, Your Majesty? Oh, there are so many. It's hard to name one or even five yes. that are our favorite. Well... But Yes. It's a great pastime and many, many movies, such as The Maltese Falcon, which is one of my favorites of San Francisco, uh, based on the book by, who was the author? Dashiell Dash Hammett. Yes, Dashiell Hammett. And a great read. And this is a Maltese Falcon, and if you know the story, there were jewels in it. But my jewels are locked away, the ones that don't wear. I wouldn't put them in my bird. Mm -hmm. No, indeed. No. But lovely that, that was filmed here in San Francisco, as many others were. But to talk a little bit about the history of movies. In the 1870s, Edward Moybridge, one of the pioneers of photography and father of the moving image, met Leland Stanford. And Stanford was occupied with a popular question of the day. Is there a moment when all four feet of a horse are above uh, at the same time the in a gallop. Yes, yes. yes, indeed. And Moybridge set up 12 cameras along the edge of the racetrack. And when he attached strings across the track that would trigger the shutters on the cameras, then when the horses touched them, he took the 12 images and copied the silhouettes onto a disc. Mm. These images could be viewed in succession on a machine that he invented called the Zoopraxiscope. It seemed like the images were moving. Hmm. And the next thing was Thomas Edison invented the light bulb and Edison sent his company photographer, William Dickinson, to see the Zoopraxiscope. And what happened is uh, William Dickinson set up Edison's lab and invented the kinetoscope. Mm. Now, in Paris, on December 28, 1895, was the first commercial public screening of 10 short films done by the Meunier brothers. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cinema, cinema photography uh, motion pictures did I pronounce that correctly? Uh, cinematographic. Yes, it's yes. a bit of a word. Yeah, it's a $4 word there. At least. Yes. Had motion pictures and they, they more than any others, but they lacked either quality, financial backing, stamina, or the luck to find momentum to propel the worldwide success that we know today of movies. And in 1890s, George Millet had fantasy films. He had special effects, made a more magical experience of the movies, and short early films developed into technically improved, longer length, synchronized sound and recording, going mainstream in the 1920s. Mm. Mm -hmm. And movies have developed into nitroglycerin film and to eight millimeter, 
home movies and videos, and now on the internet, digital filming, such as you're watching us. Indeed. One of my favorite film directors was the British filmmaker Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, yes. Whose birthday, by the way, is August 13th. He is credited with 50 films, and he had and he appeared as a cameo in 39 of them. Did you know that, Your Majesty? Indeed, yes. It's always looking for Alfred Hitchcock's cameos. A yeah. big game when you're watching his movies. Well, he usually appears as a pedestrian or a passerby in the background. And he had a twisted sense of humor. Mm -hmm. For example, the 1944 film Lightboat with Tallulah Bankhead in it. Now, you know, he was going to do a cameo in that. And I don't want to give it away if you're not familiar with his films because it's a lot of fun to watch those films and try to figure out where he's going to appear. You have to be sharp sometimes because mm -hmm. it's in a flash of an eye. So should we give this one away, for example? Oh, I think this one might be one we can give away, but, but check out the others because they're just a lot of fun to find. Yes. So in Lifeboat, the whole thing takes place. They're trying to save their lives. They're out on a you know, on the ocean, and to Little Bankhead, and I think, isn't there a prisoner and a few other yes, interesting characters? Kind of people, yes. But no Alfred Hitchcock in the lifeboat. Mm -hmm. But somehow he's got to do a cameo. And so how did it happen? His picture was on a newspaper that went floating by the lifeboat. Clever, no? Very clever. Yes, indeed. And so, you know, I would suggest, we have a lovely book here, uh, that is done by Jim Van Zandt, uh, uh, excuse me, not Van Zandt, no, no. that's Gus. Yes. Jim Van Burskok and Will Schenk. And it's Celluloid San Francisco, the film lover's guide to the Bay Area movie locations. So if you get a chance, look up the book. And if you like about, uh, you know, want to, you know, go more in detail and find out some of these locations and take a stroll around the city if you happen to be near the bay or in San Francisco, wear a mask and you can go out for a walk and find these locations because this book is full of them. And thank you so much for providing that. Now, uh, Your Majesty, why do they always say break a leg on a movie set? Hmm. I have no idea. Because they have a cast. <laughs> What's a bird's favorite movie? What would that be? The Parrots of the Caribbean. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange? Who? Aren't you going to the movies tonight? There's a movie about constipation, but it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> so what movie do atheists watch at Christmas? I have no idea. It's called Coincidence on 34th Street. <laughs> why couldn't the kitten watch the movie? Well, why would that be? It had a violent category. <laughs> Why did the skeleton go to the movies by himself? Why would that be? Because he had no body to go with him. <laughs> hmm. What is it cats and dogs, uh, their favorite story in movie? I don't know. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Why couldn't the boy go to the pirate movie? Why would that be? Because it was R-rated. <laughs> now, with that being said, I have a list of many of my favorite films, and I'm sure you all do too. First of all, my number one favorite is about the earthquake of, and it was done in 1936 with Jeanette McDonald and Clark Gable called San Francisco. Great movie. Which we have a lovely song from. The Pursuit of Happiness, mm -hmm. Play It Again Sam, High Anxiety, Herbie Rides Again, Dark Passages, 
And all of these were done here in San Francisco. And uh, Betty Davis was in Dark Passages. That's one of my favorite, right? No. Oh, no, who was in that? Lauren Bacall. Lauren Bacall. You're thinking of Dark Victory. Oh, yes, I knew it was dark. Yes. I will tell you that. Very dark. Yes. American Graffiti, mm -hmm. Basic Instinct, uh, Batman Forever, The Birds, Alfred Hitchcock, I love that film. Mm -hmm. And B Season with, what was his name? Uh, Richard Gere. Richard Gere, yes. Mm hmm. Uh, Blue Jasmine, mm -hmm. Bullet, Days of Wine and Roses, Dirty Harry, Escape from Alcatraz, The Joy Luck Club. I love all those Amy Tan books. Oh, yes. Family Plot, Flower Drum Song, George of the Jungle, mm. 2014 Godzilla. Did you know the Golden Gate Bridge gets destroyed in that? It gets destroyed in all sorts of movies. Oh, yes. Well, Graduate. Guess mm -hmm. Who's Coming to Dinner, another favorite. Yes. Harold and Maude. Oh. I can't see that one enough. I've seen it a million times. The Hulk. Interview with a Vampire, if you've seen uh, that. Uh, that's based on all those Anne Rice books, you know, Indeed. about the vampires. Indeed. A lot of fun. Uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The Last Black Man in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. The Last Night of the Barbara Coast. Mm. The uh, Love Bug, all those Herbie movies, mm -hmm. and uh, Magnum Force, the Matrix movies, Memories of a Geisha, Milk. You were in Milk. Indeed we were, but don't try looking for us. We're in the candlelight march scene near the end. And La Mission, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Doubtfire, uh, Pal Joy, The uh, Parent Trap, Pete and Tilly. Mm -hmm. Raiders of the Lost Ark, believe it or not. Didn't know that one. The Rock, The Rise and Fall of the Planet of the Apes, The Room. Now, have you seen The Room? It's a cult film. It, it is indeed. One of the worst movies ever made. Now, now. And what's the follow-up? Uh, the Disaster Artist, a movie about the making of one of the worst movies ever made. Hilarious. Yes. And who's the fella in that? James Franco. Yes, indeed. So... The Rise and Fall of the Planet of the Apes, uh, The Room, Sister Act, all those movies with mm -hmm. Whoopi, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Kong, Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, Take the Money and Run. Now, we happen to know somebody Oh yes, that knows right. somebody yes. that was in that. Someone of the Imperial Court, uh, our Imperial Court, not the other one. And that would be Grand Duchess Judy Leff, whose father was in the film portraying the father of the Woody Allen character, the guy with the big nose, the glasses, and the fake mustache, and all that. Check it out. Yes, and the 1926 version of the Ten Commandments was filmed here. Mm. The Towering Inferno, mm -hmm. Vertigo, A View to Kill, The Wedding Planner, What's Up, Doc? With um, Ryan O'Neill and, and Barbara Streisand. Barbara yes, Streisand, yes, yes indeed. And When a Man Loves a Woman, The Wild Parrots of Telegraph Hill, that great movie, great movie. Great movie. and Zodiac Killer. There are many more as well. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. And they continue to use San Francisco. So that's a very interesting thing. Now, I think today, let's see. What would be appropriate, Your Majesty? Oh, well, the official songs of San Francisco. Oh, okay. Maybe uh, I will turn into Jack McDonald. But I, I, it goes something like this. You'll help me out, eh? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes. It only takes a tiny corner of this great big world to make the place we love my home upon the hill. You know I love you still. I've been away, but now I'm back to tell you. San Francisco, open your golden gate. You'll let no stranger wait outside your door. San Francisco, here is your wandering one. Say, oh, wander no more. Other places only make me love you best. 
Tell me who is the emperor of the Golden West? The Golden West. San Francisco, welcome me home again. I'm coming home to, to go roaming no more. Thank you. That just about wraps it up for this edition. Now, don't forget, we are accepting tips. So here's our information here for both our Patreon link if you want to make an ongoing donation, as little as $1 or as much as you want, and our PayPal link if you want to make a one-time donation. We greatly appreciate all of our generous donors. So, until we see you again, stay safe, stay inside, watch a movie. If you do go outside, wear a mask. Don't take unproven cures. Be kind to one another, please. Until we see you again, a gracious good day. Au revoir.